If knowing how to draw up a project in the software is a large portion of the work, knowing how to showcase is equally important. This tutorial is designed to help you position different visual fields in your scene, as well as helping you log them. This will make you much faster when presenting the finalized project. Visual fields will give you a lot more realism when visualizing the project in 3D. Indeed, these fields give you the ability to visualize the interior of the scene without having to hide the walls. Let's take a look at the project up on the screen, having ticked the Front Walls Automatic Hiding option. As you can see, the walls disappear as we move throughout the scene, which is very practical, but not the most realistic. It is a very handy option when starting out with the software, but it can be turned off in favor of visual fields. To switch it off, go to Setup drop-down menu, click on Graphic, and then Options. Finally, untick the Front Walls Automatic Hiding box. As you can see, the walls are now all visible and we are outside the room. Visual fields will allow us to go inside the room just like you could in real life. Let's set up a first visual field together. To do so, click on the shortcut button here, it represents an eye, or go to the View, drop down menu and click on Visual Field. To position a visual field, you will need to imagine where in the room you want to position yourself. This position in the room will be the final click you make with your mouse. The visual field can be placed in three clicks. The two first clicks give you the delineation of what you want to see, and the third click places the visual field. This is the spot from where you will be looking at the scene. Be careful with where you do your third click. If the angle is too open, then the view will be deformed just like this. To delete a visual field that you're not happy with, you have two options either by placing a new visual field, cancelling the previous one, or by going to the View drop-down menu, clicking on Observation Points, and then Initial. Once the first visual field has been placed, you can see the results in 3D. At this point, you can also alter the height from which you are looking. In the View drop-down menu, choose Observer. The altitude is the height at which you will be looking from in the scene. You can modify it as much as you want and even change its incline. Zero if you want to look straight ahead, less than zero if you want to look downwards, and more than zero if you want to look upwards. Once you have entered settings that you are happy with, you can also adjust the view with your mouse, you can save it. This means that you will be able to continue navigating through the scene to look for other visual fields, but you can still come back to the first visual field. To save it, go to the View drop-down menu, then Observation Points, and Save Observer. Give it a name to your point of view, for example, View in front of Island. Let's now place another visual field, and save it. We'll call it View Living Room Side, for example. Now another. We will call this one View from right hand side. So, whenever you are viewing the scene in 3D, no matter which 3D view you are using, you will be able to change your visual field quickly and efficiently. When you present your project, you will therefore immediately be able to jump to the most relevant points of view. You will notice that you can also change or delete your visual fields that you have already placed. To modify a visual field, preemptively position the visual field you want to change it to. Choose the visual field you want to replace by the one you have placed. You can then change the name or keep it as it is. To delete a visual field, Go to the View drop-down menu, then Observation Points, and choose Delete. You will then be able to delete one or all the visual fields you have. 